how to export stems in Logic. So I have a near completed song here, just needs to be mixed and mastered, but right now I'll approach it as I'm trying to uh, export the stems and I'll go walk through the whole process so you can follow along with your own song or do it at a later time. So we're gonna basically export all these tracks as separate audio files, as WAV files. Now, it's a good thing to mention that you can have stems that are like separate tracks. So maybe you have a stem for your hi-hats, maybe you have a stem for your bit kick drum, maybe you have a stem for your vocal track, but you can also, what a lot of people do is package instruments together and have stems for packaged instruments. So you might have a drum stem, or you might have a bass stem, or, or you might have like a harmony stem or a synth stem. So it has all like your synths together in one track, uh, but it's up to you. You can totally export every single track in your session as an audio file. So I'll go through both ways though, because maybe your song is just small and you wanna export those as separate audio files. So let's start with that first. What we do is go to File, Export, and then you can see here, it gives us some options. Because I have this track highlighted, it's going to say like, this, I have this analog mellow lead and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regions in this track, seven little squares there. So export, it says export seven regions as audio files or one track as audio file. So I can right now export this one track, but what we want to do is export everything. So basically I'm going to put my cursor to number one. I'm not going to have anything highlighted. I'm going to go file, export, and then do all tracks as audio files. What I like to do is right away just get a new folder set up. So it's created this folder in my finder window and my defaults I, I always keep as these defaults. So it, um, trim, silence at file end, I want that to happen. I want it to be a wave format. 24 bit is totally fine for me. Bypass effect plugins. So if you want to um, basically skip the effect plugins, then click this box. Uh, if you don't, then don't click the box. Include volume and pan automation. So if you do have automation where you're doing volume or pan, you probably want to include that and normalize overload protection only. If you're gonna do normalize on, then have a listen to the stems after you export them because it could sound different and probably will. So I would recommend just doing overload protection only. And then you have uh, the option to a name, how, how the file is named, um, what the pattern is. So usually I just have it as track name, which is gonna take like down here, the low octave chorus. In the stem, it's gonna say low octave chorus. But you can do something else here as the file name if you want. Like, and you can even say like a custom, custom thing there. Export these. See here now, it's exporting. It's basically starting at one. And then it's gonna go all the way to about 69, I think, here go to a finder window, go music, logic, and here are your stems. And then you can see it's put every little track that you had in your logic session as a WAV file. But you can see like the shaker has its own track, the kick has its own track, the keys, everything in here has its own track. So let's say you don't want to do that and you want to do the other way to export stems which is just basically like packaging your guitars, packaging your synths, bass and drums into like key pillars and then exporting those as stems. Let's do this synths as an example and then you can take this forward and um, recreate it with any other packaged stem you want to make. So I'll go to my synths and this is already grouped in a bus, or sorry, in, um, a group stack and I'm just gonna go to my main synth here all the way down to my keys because I'm gonna include the keys as well. I'm gonna highlight these tracks, file, export, and I'm gonna go down to selection as audio file. And then I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna put up a new folder again. Let's say, let's say loneliness packaged stems, I guess. Create, going to keep these things the same, export that. This should be faster because we're just exporting the synths and keys as one audio file together. Now, actually, it came right into our loneliness stems, so I'm just gonna bring that out and go to loneliness package stems here. And you can see we have one audio file, and so you can do the same thing for your drums or whatever you want as one audio file. Let me know in a comment below if you have any questions about exporting stems or logic. And I'm doing um, live videos regularly now and hope to have a conversation with you to help you um, on your path as an independent musician and to get your music heard in the world. So feel free to subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.